God's glorious morning, everyone. It's the first of the month, and guess what? I got some good news. Today's the first day of the Planet Herb Garden Challenge. Now, for this challenge, all you have to do is grab 10 herbs and start them from seed. So I've got my seed tray right here, and I just need to fill it with some soil. But I'm not going to do that immediately. I'm just going to show you what I'm planting so that I have enough space left on here so I can record for my son later, too. And what I'm using right here, I've been researching with the Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine that I was recommended by Cherie from Black's Tropical Homestead. And so what I've got here is a niece. This is from M.I. Gardner. I've got some ashwagandha here. I've got some comfrey. Um, this one is from G. Mama Grows. I got this one from Tigsy. This one is the female ginseng, or dong kwai is the actual name from, for it, and I got this from my cousin Brooke Farmer. I got Fataloi Joan, which is king of bitters, and you guys, I don't know if I'm able to say it or not on here without getting my channel in trouble, but go to Baker Creek website and look at the description for this herb, because it's really, really good. And then I got Greek Mountain Mint Tea. And we were on my Renaissance Grandma's channel, I believe, when we were having a conversation about this one. And this one is Glycoriza, also known as Licorice, which I absolutely love. I've got Whorehound, St. John's Wort, and then Tulsi, also known as Holy Basil. So for the anise, the first and main reason why I picked this was because I didn't have the licorice yet. And I love that flavor, and this plant actually tastes like that. But what I can also tell you about this is that anise is supposed to be good for helping with asthma and coughing because it has antispasmatic properties. And it's also good for dealing with things like indigestion and colic in children. So it is a safe herb to use for children, but this is a disclaimer. Do your own research because each person reacts to these differently. Like herbs are medicine, you guys. So contact your healthcare professional before you go ahead and try using any of these things. Um, so also a um, thing about anise is that people believe that it increases breast milk production. Now it's not recommended that you actually take it while you're pregnant. Well, you can take it in pregnancy, but only in amounts that you, you would use for cooking. Like you wouldn't drink it for the tea yet. And then next, we're moving on to ashwagandha. And the main reason why I chose ashwagandha is because it has high iron properties, so it will reduce anemia. And the parts that you use of this plant are the leaves. You could use them fresh or dry. You could use the root or you could use the fresh berries. You can actually also use this for male fertility, but... Obviously, I'm not a male, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Next, we're moving on to comfrey. So they say that comfrey is used to actually heal wounds and even bones, which I found to be really awesome. And I don't know exactly how to use it just yet, but I'm definitely going to continue researching. So also, they said that if you chop the leaves, you could apply it to things like boils, apply it as a poultice. You can make ointment, you can make infused oil, and it has other uses, like you can apply it to insect bites and scars and inflammation. So I just found that a really useful thing to have on hand. Now here the Dong Kwai, also known as female ginseng, is supposed to help with all kinds of female issues, especially during menstruation, like having cramping and things like that. So... I definitely need this and it also helps the body to take iron for reducing the anemia. So like I said about this one, the Fataloi Jones King of Bitters, and it's going to taste bitter. There's a reason why it has that name. And what you want to do is look on the Baker Creek website at the description because like I said, I don't know if I could actually say what they say on there without getting in trouble getting this video flagged or something, you know. So please check that out. So what I can tell you about bitter things is that they definitely aid in digestion. So the Greek mountain tea is supposed to be really, really good when it comes to dealing with coughs and with all the stuff that's been going around lately. So I'll leave that to you to also do your research. Somebody said that this was their favorite thing to drink. I don't remember who because there were so many of us talking in that chat that one day. 
And so glycorrhiza glabra, also known as licorice, I absolutely love the flavor of it. But it's also a good aid in digestion. More than anything, I just want to have licorice tea. I like it, but it also is good with bronchial issues. Like for me, that I have asthma and it's about to be asthma season as soon as the springtime comes around and there's all the pollen in the air and all that stuff. So that's good for that as well as whorehound. Like these right here, they're good all for coughing and for people that have asthma. This one, you could actually make it into candy, I've heard. So that's awesome. So like making cough drops out of this, I'm definitely going to be doing that this year, Lord willing. So next we have St. John's Wort. And what this one is actually good for, you can make it into a cream to help with stiff joints. Now I do have arthritis in my knees and they definitely let me know hours ahead of time before a big storm is coming. So I definitely want to have that as well as the cayenne salve that I got from Black's Tropical Homestead. So I'm going to make this into like either a salve or cream so I can have it on hand to rub onto my knees. And I'm definitely going to give that a try. Now they say that this is also good, been clinically proven to treat people that have depression. So I found that very interesting. And what I also found about it is that... um that supposedly is supposed to help people that have decreased vitality, which means that you generally just don't feel like moving, like you're not energetic. So I'm going to give that a try and see how that goes. So I think for that, you actually have to make a tincture for it, which reminds me I need to shake up my cayenne tincture. Um, so there's that. And then last but not least, we have holy basil, um, also known as Tulsi. And this one is a good tea also for bronchial issues, for, for respiratory issues. I mean, like bronchitis and asthma and things like that. So I have a whole box of um, different kinds of herbs right there. But these are my 10 that I picked out. And I'm not going to show me actually going through the process of planting them right now. I'm just showing you the herbs and letting you know why I picked each one. And I'm going to get these planted today and i also have to save space on the memory card for my son to plant his and everything so that's it for now thank you guys so very much for watching do your research do not use any of these herbs that you're not familiar with without consulting first your physician and researching them and have a very blessed rest of your day Bye bye